welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I'll be showing you what I did in my sketchbook. So um, I basically put on a timer. At first I had a 30 minute timer because I wanted to try to fill the page in 30 minutes. But then um, I put on another 30 minute timer just to get like another face done. So if you would like to see this video in real time on my Patreon, you can check that out in the link below from just $3 dollars a month and you'll get to have my real-time commentary as well as early access to my Friday videos. So um, I use gouache for the whole of the spread. I just use the Crawford and Black gouache and some Royal Talons white gouache. I'll link the um, video in an iCard in the top right hand corner if you want to see the review I did on those gouaches. And I also use a couple um, flat brushes and a De La Rowney Rigger brush just for some details. So what I wanted to like do with this spread is to see if I could make the faces look slightly different without really changing the style of like um, and the process of how I tend to paint faces. And I haven't painted faces in a while, so I just wanted to see um, what would happen. And they still look very similar, but I was able to make them look slightly different. So I think next time I will like change things up. Um, like next time I try something like this. So since this was just like a sketchbook spread, I just grabbed my, my gouache palette. I don't tend to wash it out. So there's just always colors left over on there. And I was just picking random colors to go with it. Um, I did a bit of a pinky, bluey, kind of purpley colour scheme for like the first one and a more kind of earthy, greeny one for the second one and then for the third one I went really bright, kind of crazy colours actually like kind of greens and purples so the first one was quite a bit of a warm up um, I took about 15 minutes to do the first two and then like around 90 minutes to do the third one so the first one I was very much warming up on it was quite loose and... Quite messy looking to be honest um i didn't really put details in like i normally would but i did want to try out um doing more of like a messy look i do like having that very painterly kind of messy look when i'm using gouache or acrylics so i thought i would try that with this piece or like study should i say and um yeah, and the reason I was using flat brushes is because I wanted to achieve more of a looser look. I didn't want to get caught up in the details, especially since I was timing myself. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what I was going for. The first one was very much I was warming up. And the second one, I think, is my favourite. I really like how that one turned out. All the colours and stuff I picked turned out pretty well. And then the third one was okay, just the colours were kind of crazy, to be honest. And... Um, I think I pretty much use every colour in the set I have. Um, I can't be b be sure because sometimes the colours I was using was like colours that were mixed previously. But um, any colours that I use, I will just list below. But I think I used all from the set. But I will list those down below just in case you're wondering. As well as all the other materials. And I haven't used my sketchbook in forever. Um... I think the last time I actually used my sketchbook was for the 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 seconds challenge. Uh, I haven't really been into my sketchbook recently, kind of fallen out of love with it. And um, I think from now on, just to at least finish this sketchbook, because I don't want to finish this sketchbook so I can move on to like my new one. I might just do things where I time myself, because then um, I won't be spending too long on spreads. And I'll still actually be doing something in my sketchbook. So yeah, it's been probably months since I've really properly used my sketchbook. So, and I don't tend to like to film sketchbook videos, I've realized um, a while back, but I do like to film the ones where I time myself because normally I tend to kind of take my own time when I'm using my sketchbook, but when I'm timing myself, of course, I'm supposed to be sticking to that time. So I don't mind filming it because um, it's not as like, say, relaxed as like when I would normally use my sketchbook and just kind of like add things here and there whenever I'm like working on something. So if you would like to see more sketchbook spreads, kind of like draw with me kind of videos, let me know in the comments below and I will happily do so because I really do want to finish my sketchbook. I do, ha I have a few more pages left and yeah, I think if I stick to it, I should be able to finish it soon.
um yeah so it was just quite simple i didn't really feel rushed to be honest i was moving a bit quicker than i probably would have anyways because i didn't like sketch before um as you can see i just go straight in with the brush i tend to start off with the big flat brush to kind of like establish shapes and like where everything will go and then i just add everything else with the smaller brush and then add some final details with the rigger brush um but yeah i didn't really feel very rushed i'm actually surprised how quickly i did work with each face it's only the last one that i took a little bit longer to do but to be honest i did kind of get myself confused when i was like doing the hair and stuff I kind of messed that up on the third one um so yeah on each face i tried to kind of add something slightly different so the first one um just kind of had a bit of a afro really and nothing else really that more interesting but on the second one i added freckles i did slightly different hair i haven't really done straight hair in a long time um i used to do mainly straight hair when i first started off but then i've gone very much to either curly hair or afros so i thought i would try out a straight hairstyle so i did a kind of bob um i didn't do that extremely good either but to be honest i was just wanted to do something and just to paint and do something kind of relaxed um so i wasn't looking for it to be like a masterpiece but i did still like add highlights and stuff like that just to kind of add details i even tried using black on the second one i don't normally use my black wash i i watch a lot of people who do um gouache paintings and i've always noticed that they use black a lot but i'm not used to using black paint in my paintings anymore i tend to mix my own dark colors but um since this was just like a bit of a kind of study i just used some black because i was just trying out um using different colors to add details and different colors together and just experimenting really just completely experimenting and i did actually like it that way um with those colors but i don't tend to use black i tend to use i just tend to mix my own black or my own dark color just by using the colors that i've already used in my painting um so yeah but i did like how the black looked on that one it helped to ground it and it was kind of black does tend to dull things down a little bit i've noticed but those were quite dull colors anyway very muted tones so it didn't do too bad um but yeah, I think I think black would be something I use just here and there, but not very often when it comes to like paintings and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so I do really need to get back into like my anatomy studies. I did let the um, I did drop the ball a bit there. I why did I drop the ball? Oh yeah, that's because I hurt my wrist. That's what happened, and then just and I haven't really returned back to my anatomy studies so maybe I think that'll be a good way to get back into it I can just put a timer on I can either spend half an hour or an hour just doing some anatomy studies and I really do like doing it with gouache um yeah just a little bit it's a lot more fun to do anatomy studies I think with paint personally um I think it's because I'm not a huge fan of sketching anyways I do prefer working with paint so if I can do my studies in paint I prefer that so I think that's what I'll do I'll either spend like half an hour or an hour on a spread because um I actually spent a little less than an hour on my spread to be honest um more like more like 50 minutes I would guess yeah doing maths on the top of my head i would think about 50 minutes on this spread and i didn't really fill in on all like the gaps um sometimes i try to do that but to be honest i prefer to have these like sl slightly separate from each other so i can see it a little bit better um it sometimes it feels a bit wasteful to leave those white spaces but it all depends on how i feel about a spread sometimes i leave white spaces in between things and sometimes not so much if i'm doing like a landscape study i'll just tape it off so there's always already a white border but um sometimes when i'm doing my anatomy studies i leave them separate or together i tend to leave them separate when i'm painting because i don't want the paints to like kind of mix up with each other from separate like paintings but um when i'm like sketching i tend to kind of just overlap things or put post-it notes on stuff i don't like so yeah i think it'll be good for me to get back into my sketchbook and i think putting a timer on will be a perfect way to do so because sometimes i spend way too long on a sketchbook spread and i don't want to spend too long on it 
um, not all the time anyway. When I'm doing my landscape one, I like to spend quite a bit of time, but studies like anatomy studies, I don't want to spend too long because I want to be able to get that practice in so I can work quite quickly when it comes to anatomy. So yeah, um, I feel as if I was just rambling through this video. I hope it wasn't too bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was a nice spread to do. It was nice to kind of get back. I haven't done faces in such a long time, so it was nice to do that. And yeah, I really like working with gouache again. I love working with gouache, actually. Gouache is awesome. Watercolors and gouache are definitely my favorite so far. Well, at the moment. I'm very fickle when it comes to mediums, but yeah, those are my top mediums. But anyways, so I stopped the rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed the process. I enjoyed like experimenting. Like if you did, did any sketching along or if like this inspired you to do anything, please do tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you share. I would love to see. And let me know, like, what do you do to like get yourself creating in your sketchbook whenever you might have a break or something like how do you keep yourself coming back to your sketchbook um i keep on i do this a lot anyway which is why i very rarely have a finished art journal because i kind of get distracted and move to something else but i really do want to make daily studies um like studies in my sketchbook a regular thing so like what do you do to um keep yourself doing studies or like at least drawing in your sketchbook regularly like what kind of tricks do you use with yourself and hopefully the more that um i work in my sketchbook now that i seem to be getting back into it i'll find my own rhythm again because i was pretty good at the beginning of the year but then you know things just fell apart so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And please do click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload every Friday around midday. Um, but yeah, click that notification bell so you don't miss my videos. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to keep track of the April shower illustrations I've been doing, please do follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I also share them on Patreon as well, so you can see them. Um, I won't be doing any more April shower videos except for a flip through once I've finished it all. So if you want to see the illustrations like photos, please do check out my social media. I post them all up there. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, so thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.